Hey everyone, this is Mithin Abraham, physical therapist. And I'm Jared Einhorn, physical therapist. So as we know, some of the complications related to COVID-19 are shortness of breath and breathing issues that can rapidly decline into pneumonia and other complications. So yeah, with that being said, we just wanted to create a video going over some simple at-home breathing techniques that can not only help you know, your breathing and lungs, but also reduce stress in these kind of hard times. Keep in mind that these exercises and techniques that we're showing you are preventative measures uh, can be used for patients with milder symptoms or if you're asymptomatic and would like to keep your health, lungs strong and healthy during this time. Mm -hmm. It's important to note that if you are seeing a worsening of your symptoms, such as you know a really bad cough, shortness of breath, or even chest tightness, it's crucial that you seek medical attention. All right, so the first breathing technique I'm gonna go over is called purse lip breathing. Purse lip breathing is super effective for your patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD especially if they've been affected by coronavirus as well. Now, personal breathing, the, the classic technique is smell the roses, blow out the candles. To do this, what you're gonna do is take a deep breath in through the nose, and then you're gonna exhale or breathe out with pursed lips like you're blowing out candles. It's hard to see with my mask on, but once again, you're just taking a deep breath into the nose, and now through the mouth with pursed lips. Okay, you can do this 10 to 15 times. All right guys, so we're gonna get into some deep breathing exercises. The key to keeping your lungs healthy and strong and also strengthening your diaphragm is to practice some of these deep breathing exercises. And I'm gonna take you through what we call diaphragmatic breathing or also known as abdominal breathing. Um, this is very important, uh, not only because you're working on strengthening your diaphragm, um, but also by practicing deep breathing techniques, you're lowering your heart rate, you're lowering your blood pressure, reducing any anxiety, and also improving your immune responses to potential infections. Um, so the way that you're gonna do this, and I'm gonna demonstrate it to you, uh, you're gonna place one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach, okay? And when you take a deep breath in, you wanna inhale through the nose for about two seconds, and you wanna feel your belly rising. The chest should stay relatively steady, it should not be moving. So as you take a deep breath in, you wanna feel that belly rise, and then when you exhale, use the purse lip technique and blow out for at least two to four seconds. Again, we're gonna go over this one more time. Okay, and really what you're looking for is the movement within your stomach, opening it out, to the side and forward, um, and not a lot of movement going on in the chest. You can also use your hands to target the lateral aspects of your rib cage as well. And again, you wanna feel your arms pushing out, okay? I recommend doing these at least two or three times. You can go through eight to 10 cycles um, and do these regularly again to improve your diaphragmatic strength. So similarly to what Mithin said, I'm just gonna show the diaphragmatic breathing in a supine or semi-reclined position. So once again, we're gonna have one hand on the chest, one hand on the stomach, and when I take a deep breath in, I'm gonna make sure I'm watching my belly go towards the ceiling. So look. Once you get used to this, you can actually challenge your diaphragm by adding a weight. So you can put it over your stomach. You know, once you know how to do the belly breathing, you don't necessarily need to give yourself the cues anymore. So you can just try to do the belly breathing with resistance. Once again, you can take 20 minutes out of your day, even 15, to just practice these breathing techniques and they're super effective. 